The year is 1996, the Lord of our Father. I have upon me a 1996 Gibson Les Paul. Yeah. It is a vintage instrument, ladies and gentlemen. This is vintage. 100K right there. <laughs> no, but it's it is technically <laughs> in the classification of vintage now if it's 25 years or older, which we think is absurd. It is absurd. It's, I still, I can't, I mean, I have 90s guitars. I've had them out the wazoo and they've gone to the dustbins or some I've kept. It just, what has become vintage now? That's the question. Does the does the twenty five year classification still hold? I, I would sort of say no. I think that's gonna you know that's the technical definition, but obviously that's gonna morph a little bit. Like now to you and I is like you know that you're like a millennial, I'm a Generation X, I guess sort of. I think that's how True. it classifies. Um, I think we would both agree that nineteen sixty five is sort of like the magic year. Of like, you know, so any pre-65 is like the yep. golden period of right. vintage instruments. Sure. That we consider. Yeah. No, don't get me wrong. I've been searching for like 65 to 1970 Jazz Masters and Jaguars. Some super cool stuff there as well. Religiously right now trying to find one. And a year ago, they were like $3,000 cheaper. For like better ones. It's, it's funny. I should, but there's like a few months ago, there's there an old Jaguar that should have like, got it. It was like red with a painted headset. Should have gotten it. $5,000. Hang tags, original case. I was like, oh, that's that's a good deal. I'm not really huge into Jags right now. I am now, but I wasn't five months ago. <laughs> Let this be a lesson. Buy the guitars when you find them. Yeah, buy them. The, buy the guitar for the guitarist you want to be. That's what you always say, right? That's what I always say. Um, and I wanted to be obviously a surf rocker or you know alt punk dude for a minute, but whatever. Now I don't have the eight thousand dollar. Be Johnny Marr. It's gonna be great. Who doesn't want to be Johnny Marr? He needs his own video. He does need. Well, Johnny, Johnny Marr is amazing. Stay tuned. And we've talked about Johnny Marr before. We haven't done one of those like on why these cats rock in a while. We need to maybe talk about. Maybe Johnny we Marr. need to resurrect that. If you guys think Johnny Marr is worthy of talking about, let us know. Put it in the comments. So back to 1996, because <laughs> um, I have some early 90s Strat Ultras and like lace sensor pickups and everything. It's like the weighs you know in a good solid 12 pounds. It's um, to like you know kill a zombie horde and again a Zack Snyder film to an half hour opus and then play a show. And then definitely be blood all over it. It'd be cool. It'd be it's awesome. Like, it has definitely been relict yeah. at that point. But uh, but a vintage piece? Y yeah, so, and, and then what makes the vintage piece truly collectible? Like, is it is it 100% is it all the original parts? Right. Or, or is it not? Like, I, I used to be like, it has to be 100% original. I'm not so much that. I don't feel that way so much. You know, I mean, because there is no real like concrete definition. I think it's just, it, it connects you to this, these former, former glories of, oh, you know, this is when all this started. That's, that's why the 60s and the 50s stuff is so cool to me. That was the beginning. I know, and it's funny because I remember like Daryl who used to have a guitar shop in town, more music, it's, um, and he was trying to sell me his like 81 Les Paul. And it was, it, I think it was like, he was asking like 2,500. And I was like, that's insane. This was four or five years ago. And, and, now that's really not insane. It's not insane anymore. It's not insane at all. Like that's how much that should be guitar like, at right. least, which is funny for an eighty-one Les Paul. I sort of want an eighty-one Les Paul because that's the year I was born. But that's the only reason, not because they're really necessarily good. Well, Although there are some good ones out there. No, the, I mean they just got to find them. Are, I mean, like the, the, the who would have thought like the ones that I have like seventy-eight and seventy-six and some other seventies ones, like who would have thought those would be worth so much money now? It's absurd. They were they, they were a few hundred dollars when I got them. You know, this years back, and it's just you know, right. thousands, and that's how people were saying about the fifty strats. You know, back in the seventies. Yeah. Now they're worth you know eighty thousand or something for some absurd ones, and or like with this one, this one friend of mine in England. I'm gonna call him Butters because that's his nickname. But he sent me some pics too of this like great like seventies looking black Les Paul that was somehow I think it was in South America. So its patina is completely screwed up. It is like the most relic. It looks like it's been burned, but the humidity down there is like just ate it up. Like yeah. All you can see all like the neck seam joints like the paint sort of soaked into it like it's just the raw neck it looks amazing and looks like piss at the same time right. but it was like it was like six thousand pounds or something which is more not weight money which is more than um six thousand dollars for all you folks out there that's crazy well i mean and it gets down to that question we've talked about this before is it good just because it's old should it be worth more just because it's old uh, and it's weird there's a yeah he, yes because it's rare so rarity, we're gonna say rarity is is a defining 
And some of them are amazing. Yeah. There are some amazing vintage pieces like that we come across. And we've talked about, you know, is vintage worth it? Usually no. But if you can buy anything vintage affordable, we just sold like a 76 Mustang last night. And it's a good, it was a good price too. And I think it, it doesn't play great like a modern setup instrument, but it does. I played it before we packed it up. It plays really well. It plays really good and it's fun to play. And it sounds good too. Which I was like, that's cool, but it, you know, it's a student guitar from '76. And I believe you. Which this is really hilarious. Like you sent quite a few messages saying, "Hey, just make sure you know." Well, cause we're 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 outrageously honest about guitars. Like, well, you know, in his sometimes person, to our own detriment. You know, like I, was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I just want to make sure, like you know, and he, you know, obviously if you don't like it, he's returned. That's fine. But um, but I think that's a great buy. I mean, that's a cool guitar. It's an affordable yeah. guitar. It's cool. It's vintage. It's any of the seventy. Like, who would have thought a seventy-one Strat would be ten thousand dollars now? I mean, that's insane. You can still get them for less than that, but people are asking that and upwards sometimes. Right. Especially in Italy, for some reason. I don't know why guitars are so expensive in Italy. Because like, the food and the wine is so cheap, but guitar and transportation is never on time. Um, but, but God, I mean, if you've ever been to Italy, just spend time in the airport. It's the most beautiful security people I've ever seen. Men and women, it's like models just walking around. I mean, just the people in Italy, generally. I've talked about it before. It's just like <laughs> they're just remember, they're looking. yeah, like yeah. The, the women's security, like with the machine guns, it's like it's in the boots and the pants. It's like it's it is again. It's a Zack Snyder sucker punch like fantasy movie. Yeah, just right there alone. But it's no. So it's like, so is your 90, 1990 guitar a vintage guitar now? I almost yes. Yeah, I think 80s is, 70s is thoroughly in the vintage period now. 100% in the vintage period. Absolutely. It's, I remember having the same conversation 20 years ago about 80s things. <laughs> is, is 85 really vintage? <laughs> is my Marshall from 1985 or my, yeah. No, and then four years ago, I think I was in, when I was in that hair metal band, Doc and Velvet, mm -hmm. um, and one of, the, one of the guitar players was starting to collect like 80s. Like he had one of the guitar that was like a poison guitar at some point. He had one of the, Winger guitars, like signature series, like that was a great guitar. He sold them all since then because he buys and sells a lot. But that's one of the, like the the markets I would highly encourage people to get into because it's just it's it's not as hot, but it's getting hot hot now. So what you're saying is you could buy Bitcoin or you could buy 80 Strader guitars, same thing. You should have bought Bitcoin that day right before it all crashed, <laughs> and then um, just had that little like evisceration. Like a Braveheart moment it's there. Oh, that's yeah. that's a bad death. Oh, ouch. Um, yeah, I mean, Bitcoin's still up like you know a gazillion percentage points from where it was, I guess. But it's you know it's, no, it's not the same. Like, you don't get to play with your Bitcoin unless you're Richard Pryor and Brewster's Millions. I still I it. understand nothing about Bitcoin except the word. I can only say the word. Everything else is the Bitcoin is actually it's all manufactured in the north of Scotland. Um, in it's the a small mine. town of Cullender. <laughs> there it's you go. It's in the foothills where Rob Roy spent some time, and they they actually mine it in the. It's, that's where the, the Mines of Moria was first created. <laughs> the Lord of the Rings Tolkien. That was all not true. <laughs> Get your economic information here. <laughs> Casino guitars. I, just wanna, I have been to Colander in, in Scotland. That's when I went hiking once with a friend of mine named Huffy Huffnagel. We were over there in Scotland. That was his real name. His real name's Henry. But we all call him Huffy. Yeah. But phenomenal bass player. But I think he's a doctor now. He's like a brilliantly hilarious dude. But we went hiking up to the top of these mountains, these little foothills for them. But, um, and then we got there and was like, hey, did you bring water? And he's like, no, did you bring water? I was like, oh. <laughs> so we were just, because we were idiots. And we were like climbing over people's yards. We didn't know this. This was like back when you did tourism before like there was tourism in the same way. Right, right. She's like, let's go through that farm. And this guy's like, you're in my farm. <laughs> you know, get out of here. And he said bad words I can't say. That was more of an Irish accent. I'm sorry. Scott's out there. But, uh, but a good try. Anyway. So back to vintage. So your 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 vintage eighties guitar. Your vintage eighties guitar is buy them up now. No, seriously, pennies I mean, on the dollar. The, yeah. the hair metal they're expensive now, but those they were they were expensive then. Now they're but that was like a soft market compared to like you can't get anything pre sixty five now. A reasonable price and like I was looking at Jazz Masters and Jaguars again, like they're mid mix match pickups or different necks. People didn't really know and like so definitely be aware of your source you're buying it from right now. It's, it's true. And I don't think people are trying to rip you off. They just, it's just confusing. There's a, it's just, if you don't know, and every, everybody thinks they're an expert now on reverb. And... Well, I mean, we talk to a lot of people who 
and they don't know. This is it's. I, I don't think I've had uh-huh. one instance where it's been like malicious or they were trying to mislead anyone. But they, you know, someone told them that it's this or that it has this or that it came from this year, and it's wrong a lot, or that it's all original and it's not. And, and it's and it's hard. It's tricky for us to suss it out sometimes and to figure out what is what and is this all original and is this the right neck and did they spot the pickups and blah 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 blah. But um, but yeah, yeah. It's tricky. So I mean. It, it, it is tricky. So the, the term of vintage has definitely changed from what I've always envisioned, 1965 and pre. I think 70s are thoroughly, I think 80s are in vintage, hardcore now too. 90s are getting there. like some, But it's got to be the weird stuff from the 90s. I just don't want like a normal. <laughs> your, your 90s American standard. Yeah, this doesn't really. I mean, but some of those like, you know, those old Fullerton 80s. I mean, someone for $5,000. Crazy. It's crazy. It's hard for me to wrap my mind around Did it play that. great? Not at all. Did it sound good? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> kind of sound like a player strategy. That's beside the point. It, it did. It's, I think play, the player series has gotten so good, it had the same sound and probably a better feel. I mean, that was, that was cool. We did our hands at the same time, but mine are interlaced. That's what I do sometimes when I'm just wanting to be comfortable. <laughs> but yeah, so vintage is a new thing. And it's like, it's, I have to let my Generation X definition of it pass away and i'm okay with that i guess because it's okay whatever it's okay so i think that's, that's the best thing about generation x is like we're pretty much good with whatever you know like cool man we let the boomers and like the millennials and the generation y's and z's to sort of fight it out and we're like that's cool you guys do your thing we did our thing we've done pretty well too you know because we, we just do our own thing real jobs nah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, eh. we don't know how to do that but yeah so that's that's our thoughts. Let us know what you think. Like, what is vintage now? Like, is vintage 65 and 4? Is it 70s? Is it 80s? Is it, is it 1996? 25 years ago. Let us know. There you go. That's all I got this for you. This be interesting. Interesting comment section coming up. I you, can feel it. You have it. to jump in there some. I've been on there like a lot lately. You got to help me out. I got to get in there. Talk. You, Jonathan gets scared that people are like, I know. You're going to say mean things to him. That's true. I wake up just in cold sweats. Say lots of nice things to Jonathan about this video. Then he'll be like, man, that's, people are being really friendly. That'd be great. Nice. <laughs> That'd happy, be... happy Father's Day. <laughs> All right. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, click that bell so you don't miss videos in the future. Thanks, as always, for hanging out with us. We'll see you next time. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs>